Today on the 6th of May local time, K-pop sensation Jenny Kim finally returned to the glamorous and historic Met Gala, held at the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York. However, this time, there was something different. Jenny, who usually wears Chanel outfits in black and white, opted for a custom-made gown from Alaya. She was invited personally by Anna Wintour as a VIP guest for her second Met Gala appearance. Jenny, who attended the Met Gala for the second time, admitted that she was very nervous last year. However, she felt more relaxed and confident this year, stating, I was so nervous last year, but I feel like I'm doing a better job this time. Of course, Jenny's look immediately drew attention. Her bright blue gown featured an asymmetrical cut with a long train, made from more than 13 meters of fabric and taking 200 hours to complete. The gown, designed by Peter Mullier, was adorned with gold chains and pearl gems. To complete the stunning look, she wore strappy heels that harmonized with the marine-inspired theme. It's no surprise that Jenny became the most talked about celebrity at the Met Gala. On X, the number of tweets about Jenny reached 1.5 million, far surpassing other celebrities like Stray Kids, Ariana Grande, and Zendaya. However, there were also some netizens who criticized her appearance, considering her gown too simple and not in line with the theme, The Garden of Time. But fashion experts and many fans quickly debunked these claims. According to them, Jenny's gown's simplicity emphasized elegance and showcased a creative side that aligned with the theme, reflecting nature and sustainable fashion. She even made it onto the list of best-dressed celebrities by renowned magazines like Harper's Bazaar, Heisner Biety, Rolling Stone, Billboard, Cosmopolitan UK, and others. Inside the venue, Jenny was seen interacting and taking photos with fellow K-pop artists, the boy group Stray Kids. Although many fans were excited to see more interaction moments between Jenny and Stray Kids, unfortunately, no videos or recordings showing that moment have circulated on social media. Additionally, Jenny was seen holding hands with Italian model Vittoria Coretti and actress and comedian Rachel Senot. In a light conversation with Rachel, Jenny appeared humble, even when people were admiring her insane look. look However, insane. Jenny I'm modestly I'm replied, so No, you look I'm insane. I'm After the main Met Gala event, she also attended the Met Gala after party choosing a look that contrasted with the bright blue gown she wore earlier. For the after-party, Jenny chose an all-black outfit that was elegant and chic. The gown she wore was an Alaya Fluid Eyelet jersey dress with a polka dot pattern that added a unique touch to the dominant black color. The dress had a simple design but still stood out due to the unique eyelet detail. To complete her look, Jenny wore a cropped shearling jacket that matched her dress, giving an edgy yet comfortable impression. Not only that, Jenny also carried a handbag that matched the all-black theme, and wore eye-catching high heels. The Alila Cage Wedge Buri's high heels added a luxurious and stylish touch to her appearance. These shoes feature a wedge design with a cage detail that gives a modern and futuristic vibe. On the other hand, Blackpink's Maknae, who recently had the honor of raising the flag at the 2024 Formula One Miami Grand Prix at the Miami International Autodrome in Florida, United States, is the only K-pop artist and the only person from Thailand to receive this honor. After the F1 Miami Grand Prix, Lisa finally returned safely to Korea, warmly welcomed by her loyal fans. Despite returning from a long journey, Lisa showed no signs of fatigue. She remained enthusiastic while interacting with her fans who waited patiently at the airport. She even kindly gave heart signs to the fans as a token of gratitude for their support. Her arrival was met with cheerfulness and various gifts, including a Labubu Pop Mart, a unique gift to add to her Labubu collection. Lisa's appearance at the airport also drew attention. She looked relaxed yet stylish, wearing a Louis Vuitton hat and a low shirt that read, Do you remember when we first met? The jeans she wore and the Louis Vuitton Dauphine Soft GM bag added a touch of style to her look. Meanwhile, Blackpink's main vocalist, who has left New York, is also on her way back to Korea, but she made a stopover in Los Angeles, according to a fan's post who spotted her. When all Blackpink members are in Korea, fans hope that the group will reunite and continue their group activities because the fans miss them. This anticipation creates a buzz among the fan community, with many speculating on what the group might have in store for their next project.